Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome color grading tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to color grade Sony RX105 s log 2 footage that I uploaded yesterday and in this tutorial I'm actually going to attach those raw files straight from the camera for you guys to download play around and do whatever you guys want to do with it just as an exercise files after the tutorial make sure to ch check out the link in the description I'm going to include the download link on my website anyways let's get started today basically I'm gonna cover this relatively simple tutorial uh, yesterday was my first day with the camera to check out you know different uh, options and all that and one of the things I noticed that the camera is not really set very well from the factory settings so when you guys getting the camera definitely make sure you're gonna go through every setting and adjust it based on your own style so today we're gonna be color grading with a film convert and it's gonna be very simple relatively tutorial I'm gonna drop film convert and I'm gonna select Sony RX100 MK5 and my profile was S-Log2. I'm gonna click apply. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna choose GPU to make sure that we're working a little bit faster. And straight from the bat, we actually can see that everything looks very awesome. And I personally, a big fan of that kind of grainy film look. So I really enjoy how it looks from the very beginning. Now, one of the things off the bat I wanna point out that when you apply similar style, I don't know if the YouTube compression can let you see this, but there's a lot of dancing chroma noise. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the first note and I'm going to call this NR for noise reduction. And I'm actually going to dial Luma 2 and chroma about 10. And if I'm going to go before and after, we can see that it perfectly took care of our noise. So this is going to be my very first step. And off the bat, like I said, I really like how it looks. It's slightly overexposed to my taste. I like to keep all the information within the legal boundaries. So let me bring it down a little bit, just like this. And I probably can also add a little bit of shadows. That way we're sort of not fighting anything. And for here, I'm gonna call this one exposure. And in my next note, I'm going to be playing with a green color. So I'm going to call this one greens. Okay. And I'm going to do very, very simple thing. I'm just going to go, I'm not even going to go to the qualifier. I'm just going to go in the curves and I'm going to choose hue versus hue. So over here, I'm going to select average green color. So something like this. And if I'm going to go up and down, we actually can see how it's affecting entire picture. So I'm going to spread them a little bit wider. That way we get softer feathering and if you can see how it changes that looks actually pretty cool so i'm gonna do something like that i really like how uniform it looks very pretty much we only have green and sort of red magenta i really like that look let's check out the whole thing before and after that's already looks absolutely fantastic so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a little extra kick I'm going to create a new note and I'm going to call this one Vignette, I believe that's how you spell it. And I'm going to go in the masks. I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to stretch it something like that. I'm really a big fan of very garbage style vignetting. I'm not perfectionist when it comes to vignetting. I really like rough style like that. And I'm going to go in the color wheels to the midtones, and I'm just going to dial it down just a little bit like that. I'm going to invert it. I'm going to feather it. And that looks really nice. So if you guys can see the difference before and after. We sort of created more dimension like this by relighting. Speaking of relighting, I'm going to create another note, and I'm going to call this one light. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Luminosity Mask and I'm just going to play around with it and see what I can do to add a little bit extra dimension in this whole thing. I want to make sure that I'm working with a nice and soft feather. Okay, like that looks great. Let's make sure our whites are clean. 
let's also play around with the blacks and see what's that all about okay so like that looks really cool let me play it back to see that we don't have anything crazy dancing okay looks great and now I'm just gonna give it a very slight kick just like that but at the same time we can see that I start going above the legal limit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create the curve put a point right over here and just gently bring it down so let's check it out before and after I still retain that kick and at the same time I stay within the legal boundaries so that looks great let me zoom in look at that detail from that Sony camera that's absolutely fantastic and you know I'm gonna do a very detailed review for you guys and I'm gonna cover all the plus and minuses of that camera but so far you know having it for only a couple days I actually really enjoy it I think it's absolutely fantastic being able to record 4k at 30 frames a second is absolutely mind-blowing anyways so that's my before and after I think that looks great and probably one more thing I'm gonna experiment I'm gonna call this one skies okay so this is gonna be sky and I'm gonna go to hue versus actually Luma just like that I'm gonna pick blue Okay, and I want to see if I'm going to be able to darken the skies just a little bit without turning entire image into a mess. And as we can see, the image kind of relatively breaks down very quickly, so we have to be careful with that. Okay, so let's see. Every little bit going to count. Before and after. Okay, looks like we've done very slightly. I like that. And possibly another thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna call it sky 2 and by the way the the variations of this node you could have done the same thing in the parallel layers so it doesn't really matter at this point my order of operation rather than actual technique okay so here we are let me do another thing let me try to do hue versus saturation I'm going to pick blue and let me see if I can give it a little bit more punch again spread it to make sure it's nice and even all right perfect I really like it at this point and from now it's pretty much all creative style whether you want to add anything extra or not it's up to you but I think for my personal taste this is very nice and clean color grading so in my next following videos I'm gonna be doing more stuff with the Sony camera and I'm gonna actually do a more detailed review about this awesome camera so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out on the description link to my website where I'm going to provide original footage what I'm working on right now in 4k and the power grading from this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.